going to the gas station. That's how late it is. Uh, not gonna lie, it's been what? Things need to change in my life. It's, some of the changes are going to be hard. It's, it's going to be tough. Uh, I've been so down. I've been watching the Metallica fade to black. What the flying floor? Uh, I'm not a big fan of that stuff, but it's just like an outlet for my emotions at this point. And uh, I can actually play that on the floor. Anyway, I just just struggle. Uh, There's just no easy way to put it. Uh, I love people so much, but I finally realized that I can't. I have to cut out the negativity. So I think for the first time ever, I'm thinking about cleaning up my Facebook social media accounts uh, well just based on Facebook just can't I don't know I'm just done uh, I'm at the point now where I just can't handle any negativity from people people who don't believe in me and make fun of me and all that I just can't do all that because it's affected my ability to for the greater cause of each and more people uh, and having a major impact on people's lives. Uh, it's, that's the whole issue. Uh, you know, it's... Because, see, I'm a firm believer. The only way you'll get deleted off my Facebook page is if you cuss at me, cuss, or say something crazy, or do something more like crazy. But if you make fun of me or something, I'll take it. It's simply because... I don't want to answer with God someday and be like, man, some of the stuff that you posted could have changed our lives. And I don't want to disappoint God. I don't. And I, I love people as much as myself. I love people as much as myself. It's all here. I have nothing but the best of intentions in an evil, wicked world. It sucks having a meltdown. It's it's almost a real thing, man. But I just can't help it. I but I just don't want to be held responsible. I, I think to a certain degree you have to take stuff. And I don't think you can leave this world having a grudge against anybody. And so I'm willing to take stuff. To a certain extent, but I'm starting to realize, I'm starting to realize that, that, that it's okay to cut some people out. Just leave them with the positive, positive message of Christ, uh, or, you know, God, when you cut them out, and, uh, just make sure they know, and if they don't take it, if they make fun, well, that's okay, and then just delete them before you do that, you know, I mean, that's what you do, and, uh, you know, I, I, I just, I want people to see God's light in me, you know, that, that's all those two, that's, that's what it boils down to. Uh, without that and, and that's why I, it's hard for me to delete people and stuff I've only deleted like 6 or 7 people in my life on Facebook I've been on it since it came out and that's the only time you can be on so, uh, you know, Facebook is a few of college students and I was a student at IU uh, but I it's just because I want to, you know, I want to, I want them to see God's light in me, 
you know, someday. And, uh, I just take that very serious. Don't want anybody to end up in hell uh, in a mess because I deleted them. And I'm, I'm so emotional right now, I just can't help it. Uh, been pretty emotional the last couple of days. And, uh, but see, there's a, there's a, one thing I'm learning is, is there's a balance, there's a moderation. It's wrong if you love yourself too much, right? It is absolutely you cannot central, you know, be self-centered. You have to love others as much as you love yourself, right? You do. It's that simple. But at the same time, you can't hate yourself. Hating yourself is as bad as hating other people. Therefore, you have to love yourself enough to stand up for yourself. Because what happens is, I'll tell you what happens. What happens if you don't stick up for yourself? You lose the respect and love you have for yourself. And that gets in the way of getting to the point well, you can use your talents in life to reach as many people as you can. And so, as you can see, there's a double-edged sword to all this. And there's a balance. So, so, so it's, it's difficult for her to find that balance. And why, I mean, I have overwhelming love and support for people. Overwhelming love and support for people from all over. But why do I give up? Why do I let a handful of people affect me this bad? I will never, ever fully understand. I just won't. Uh, why? I mean, I could be 100% right, and if I don't get everybody's validation that I'm in the right, I feel like I'm in the wrong, even though I'm 100% wrong. Like, I could, all right, you know, I could save a bank robber, or save a, save a, you know, save a bank from a bank robber, and if somebody said I was wrong, one poll said I'd think I was wrong. And you know, that's absolute right and wrong right there, right? I don't know. I'm just in a really bad crisis in my life. I have been for a while. You guys know that. I, it's probably not fun or exciting to watch. Um, it sucks. But uh, this is real, people. This is real life. This is 100% me. 100% me. Um, you know, I'm one of the most genuine and, I mean, sincere people on the planet. And I can't hide my emotions. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. This was just a special video that I wanted to share. Uh, I'm so behind on vlogs, I, I just feel the need to upload this now. So, uh... Hope everybody's well, and uh, best of wishes. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment. Peace. Up. I'm wildin' out. I'm leaning in. I'm leaning in. Pushing off my sneakers to the ground, I do not jump, I move the earth down, bear witness to the genius of my sound, born at the bottom, but now I'm top down, look, I'ma call it swagger, I slip through time's